Hello everyone. Today we have a small agile zook built for contests like dodgy zook and ready steady zook. So let's see how it performs. So it has a nice sharp turning. But at 10.2 seconds, it's not bad, but it could be faster. Let's see how it does at the sprint. So at 99.2, it's not bad, but again, it could be faster. So, what can we do to improve its speed? Its cycle speed is already full so that's not an option. We can stretch out its IK points further, and that would help it move faster, but if the cycle path is further than the legs can reach, then it will lose grip and stability, and if we make the legs longer to remedy this, then the Zook's liable to get caught on obstacles, which goes against what we're trying to achieve here. So one way we can improve its speed is by using double cycles. And what I mean by this is that in a single cycle, we can make the Zook's leg move in this triangle shape or any other shape twice. And this is quite tricky to explain, so I'll just start by making it and hopefully it will become more clear what I mean. So I'm going to take a new IK point between the last one and the first one, the square, and put it under the first one. And then we're going to do the same thing again, but between our new IK point and the square. And we're going to do the same thing again, but put it under the third one, and again, and put it under the fourth one. Now, if you look carefully at where this path is going now, the leg will start at the square and then first begin with its normal triangle so it will go to the second one and then the third and then the fourth but then instead of returning back to the square it will go to our new IK point that's just under the square and then carry on going to all of the new IK points we've added until then it returns back to the square so it's doing these two triangle shapes just one slightly above the other. So if we merge the IK points together, then the leg should be doing what it used to, but in theory twice as fast. So I'm just going to copy this over to the other legs now. This isn't going to work just yet, but we'll test it anyway and see if we can figure out what's going on. So the legs are certainly moving faster, but they're all moving at the same time. So what's happened? We have our usual alternating movement cycles here, but with the cycle movement cycle of 50, where is this leg starting? Now since we're doing this triangle shape twice, and this leg will be starting half a cycle ahead of the others, where's that going to be? Well it's going to do one triangle, so it starts in the same place as all the others. So actually, we've got to divide any of these movement cycles by two. And that way, we should have the legs alternating again. As you can see, that's moving much better now. So, let's see how fast it is. So, 135. That's much faster. 
but let's see how it does in the lab. So now it's drifting a lot more. So it's clearly lost a lot of grip, but that's not a surprise since it's going so much faster. So we've made our Zook much faster using double cycles, but that isn't going to do us any good if it just drifts off the table now. So is there anything we can do? One option is to lower the cycle speed until it's moving slow enough that it doesn't drift away so badly. But before we consider just sacrificing speed, there is another option we can consider. If we add more IK points to the bottom of this triangle, then the Zook's legs will spend a greater proportion of their time there, which means they will move a bit slower, but in exchange will get more grip and stability. So let's do this. It's important to make sure that both cycles have the same number of IK points here, otherwise one cycle will move quicker than the other. Okay, and I'll just replace these other legs again. So let's see how this does now. So 143. It's moving even faster now, despite the drop in speed. So it's still drifting a lot in the lap but not nearly as badly, and it can actually complete it with a score of 7.3. That's much better. So this Zook might need a bit more work to improve its cornering, but I hope this has shown you what double cycles can achieve. They're not always the right option for your Zook, but they're worth considering if you need an extra bit of speed. Yeah.